Yo, what is going on guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, AKA the Clockmaster. So, um, this is the like sixth time I'm like, like recording this, um, intro type thing. I recorded a whole, like, um, another intro that ended up going into our rant and I just figured I'm just not going to post that. Um, I will say this though. It's been a struggle for me to, to 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 try to even do this reaction because of the um, recent issues that's been going on with me and um, a lot some of the fandom and some of y'all's disagreements with my opinion and, and certain stuff like that. But I'm not gonna let that bother me. I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about it in this video. In this video, all I will say though to this because I spent the other video, um, which I'm not gonna upload, just ranting, kind of just ranting letting things off my chest and i let it off my chest but i'm not gonna <laughs> show it to you guys so it's fine um but i will say this before i get into the reaction thank you those who continue to support me um those who understand me those who understand my opinion and understand my viewpoint i really do appreciate you guys and for those i'm doing this reaction for those of you guys who um continue to support me and understand and, and, and my true mvh supporters thank you guys and i love you guys and the true the true mvh supporters y'all got my back and i got you so i'm not gonna abandon these reactions because a few people want to throw shots at me so to those of you guys who truly appreciate what i do thank you i hope you enjoy my reaction my reviews will always be 100 honest even if even if a lot of you guys may disagree with my opinion um i'm not like any other youtubers out there as far as telling you what i believe you want to hear i will tell you what's on my mind and i will tell you my honest truth and how i personally feel about something um so currently how i stand with titans right now I, i'm enjoying the story i'm enjoying the direction that it's, it's taking there's still some issues i have with it which i won't address until the very very end just until everything's completely uh finished um but as of right now i'm enjoying what i'm seeing um i'm liking some of the actors and what they're doing so we're just gonna watch this episode and we're gonna get into it and we're just gonna <laughs> just go for it man again once again to those who are, are have been supporting me and understand where i'm coming from and and, and and think thank you i really appreciate you guys anyways enough of that stuff let's get into the reaction if you guys enjoy the reaction please make sure to subscribe to the channel and um yeah if you guys want to skip to the review section of the video there's going to be a watermark over the video just because i want to prevent some copyright issues so if you guys want to skip to the end for the review section i will be taking some notes on my ipad um if you guys want to see any uh, see the review skip to the review um Let's get tracks, man. We'll talk about it later as you normally do. Let's get into it now. This guy with this button, bro. Ew. What the heck is that? Oh my. Oh my God. Oh my god! What the hell? They straight up like feed us in that egg! Oh, they could've got a better van for that porous. Come on now. Four rooms, all close to each other. Glad you had availability. She missed the tractor. Suppose I could use a bit of practice. <laughs> okay. okay. But he could have just hid in the first place. He didn't have to watch. If this wasn't a drill, we'd all be dead by now. True. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's awkward. <laughs> Yo, he puts on his clothes mad quick, though. I'll tell you that. So, have you eaten anyone before? <laughs> eaten. Vitamin time? Now. We have places to be. This is so weird. Oh my god. Why are these people. Sure, you're okay. Why? 
kind of scary. Oh! Oh, shoot! Oh, no! Nah. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh. 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 Don't open that door. Don't you open up that hotel door. Ooh. 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 Get out of here, guard. How about you turn into a tiger? Come to play. Yo, these people. Honey, we should check on the kids. Come on, bro. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh no! Nah. Oh no! Nah. Oh shoot! They Michael Myers in up in this po. Oh! Oh! Oh, God help us all. Oh, chill. Oh, chill. Okay, well, he gets to show he gets to show them what he can do now. Because he's like, you need to show what, what, what you can do. Okay, sir, let him know, bro. Let him know. I'm talking about. Oh, 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 Okay. 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 Nobody likes a tattletale. Okay, Th it's my turn. Wait, this wait, 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 wait. Come here. This new dad is pissing me off. The way they're reacting. Oh, yep. Yep. They're dead. Oh God. Oh shit. Dick's gonna think I did it. <laughs> oh wow. Jeez. Well, I knew they had implants in their brain, obviously. That I knew. Detective Grayson. Are you Mr. Adamson? Dr. Adamson. Are you hungry? I've got something on the stove. Nope. You're not a vegetarian, are you? I do prefer an animal-based protein. Who are you people? And what do you want with Rachel? As much as I'd love to have a lengthy conversation with you about Rachel Roth, Detective, I'm afraid there's no time. You found me. I've been exposed. So the organization is sending people to kill us. 
We have one minute. Unless we leave right now. Or we could stay for one last glass of champagne. No one knows I'm here. I do. So does the old woman downstairs. They're everywhere. Does this organization work for Rachel's father? Is he still looking for her? You could say that. Yes. Oh, dear. My crepes are burning. If you don't give me some answers, I'm going to stick your face in it. I'm sorry, Detective, but we have 10 seconds before the final answers come for both of us. What do you want with Rachel? I do love a good champagne. I want some answers. Five, four, three. What the four, hell? Two, one. Okay, dick. Oh, oh, that's mad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, 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 no. Who that? Oh, is that Jason Todd? Is that Jason? Oh, shoot. Okay, with the clutch. With the clutch. With the clutch. With the clutch! Wow. Dick Grayson in the flesh. Nice to meet you, bro. I'm the new Robin. Yo! <laughs> With the clutch! With the clutch! With the clutch! I bet. Let's talk. Let's see what's going on at the end, man. Let's watch this trailer. Wait, you're Robin? Wait, you're Robin too? I thought you were Robin. I am. He was. How many Robins are there? They were sent to the Gotham PD address to Robin. I know these people. Whoever sent them thinks you're still Robin. It's good to finally talk to you, Dick Grayson. It's not possible. Because you're dead. All those years Bruce was helping me. I want my parents back! He was turning me into a weapon. His weapon. But you can't unlearn what he teaches you and you can't control it. Jason Todd with the clutch save. Homie came in with the clutch. That was a pretty decent, pretty, pretty good episode, man. Like, besides the slow moments that were evident in this episode, let me just raise my seat up a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, besides the little slow moments that were in this episode, it was overall a pretty good episode. We got to see the team f kind of form, you know, a common understanding as to where they're headed, what they're trying to do, what they want to accomplish. So we got that out of the way. That was really good to see. Um, and they started to begin their training in a way. Hopefully I, we see more training. I wrote that down. What was up with that whole fetus egg thing? Like we found out Mr. Adams dude is not even the head man. He's like, he's like the dude who's under the people, you know, who's trying to get them. So he is like a hierarchy system going on here. You got the weird family. Then you got the the head, the Dr. Adams guy, and then you got his people above him. So who's really at the top? Like, who's the top of all of this? If you guys have any uh, inclination of, as to what's going on, let me know in the comments down below if you think uh, we're doing that. And by the way, if you skip the, the reaction, welcome to the review section of the video. Yo, that Jason Todd at the end, yo, I was not expecting him to pop up at the end. Like, I knew the next episode was called Jason Todd, so I thought we were going to see Jason in the, um... I thought we were going to see him in the next episode, but I didn't know homie was going to come in with the clutch at the end. That was really nice, man. I'm going to talk more about that towards the end. Let's just run that down. But what was that little weird stuff in the, that little fetus human looking, um miniature baby Voldemort looking thing that was in the egg that was weird I, I need some answers on that part there because I, I wrote down and this is how I normally take my notes I just write down like I just write down um just things that just like pop up that that immediately speak to me that I can just like talk about what's up with that we got to an answer on Mr. Adams in the word X so we need to talk about that I talked a little bit but a, bleh, a little bit about the training session that was really cool um 
and you know, like I said, the bond. Um, oh, we got uh, 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 I already talked about the weird family already, so I'm gonna cross that out. We already talked about them. Rachel and Gar. I I, I understand that some people explain that um, with the parents' permission, if they were to do like a kissing scene of some sort, then they can give permission for that because we know that that the guy who plays Gar is like 20, 23, I think, and a uh, girl who plays Rachel is um is a uh, 13, I believe, or 14 or something like that. She's under she's under 16 years old. So I know with parents' permission, they can do a kissing scene if they wanted to do a kissing scene. Um, but it just feels weird. They're there. I know they're starting to try to do some relationship thing, and it feels a little bit weird just because in the back of my mind, I know he's a 23 year old man. So it just kind of feels weird to me. Um, if they do a little relationship thing without them doing a kissing scene, then I'd be a little bit okay with that. Like, I don't mind them like having some type of romantic type vibes off of each other without necessarily getting, you know, into kissing scenes and stuff like that, getting too sexual with it. Like I, if they keep it pretty, you know, like just, you know, common flirtations or looks in the eyes, maybe a handhold or whatever. Like I could deal with that. Like I'm cool with that. But I think if they actually kiss on screen, I'll feel weird about it. That's just me. I would definitely feel weird about it. But their chemistry is there and I see it and it's it's developing into something cool. It adds some different depth and layer to the show and to the story. So that was so that, that was pretty cool. Um, now the whole core, you know, killing thing. Now, I like I told you guys, I've been reading a lot of um titan stuff i've been going back and reading a lot of things because there's a lot from the comic books that i do not know my understanding of titans and teen titans um comes from a little bit of the rebirth stuff um, which i never read uh completely um also teen titans the show and a few comics here and there but there's a lot about the origin stories of these characters and things that i i'm not too sharp on so i went back and read some older comics the new teen titans comic book which is on the dc universe app and i went back and read there and there were moments where um and a couple of you guys actually sent me some sources too where um because you know how i how i talked about the whole core you know killing thing i was corrected on that and i we see in this episode dick mentioned to her um cory please no more killing like no more killing there's already been enough for it that's something that he actually does a lot in the comic books to my surprise um that's something that he actually did with her a lot and it was it, killing was it was just her natural instinct so we're getting to see some of the signs of him trying to be like Corey, no killing we don't have time for that don't do it so that was a nice little comic book reference mentioned there um their chemistry is also starting to uh build up as well and starting to mesh with each other so i'm i'm definitely looking forward to see more of their relationship um the outfit change i'm looking for that too um i know the hair is going to change you know the outfit they're going to get a different costume it is what it is man like i told y'all it's a new thing it's different it's whatever i don't really care anymore man it's like <laughs> it's whatever i'm looking at the story at this point and these characters the story is heading somewhere there's a lot of mysterious unexplained things in this story which is keeping me interested because i want to know the end of this um if you guys know any comic book references as to who's at the top or what's going on with this whole weird organization thing like i said let me know in the comments if you have any idea as to what's really going on with that now jason todd popping at the end i spoke about it earlier but jason todd popping at the end was 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 awesome it was a nice little touch for me him coming in with the clutch save i can't wait to see both of them interact with each other and and, and dick trying to talk to jason or whatever and, and see what's going on with that um a lot of people are upset as to how they're doing the whole jason todd thing but it is what it is man like he, he's here it's cool he looks dope we're gonna have two robins on screen next episode uh, it's gonna be nice to see their fighting styles mesh with each other but that was really exciting to see that I was not expecting him to show up at the end there. Trust me. Trust me, I was not expecting that to show up. That was a really nice touch. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wrote down, guys, for this episode. Overall, um, like I said, it was a pretty good episode. This one, I'd give this one a safe 7.5 out of 10. I'm I'm keeping most of my episode ratings about 7.5 right now. I don't want to go too higher than that because maybe an 8. Maybe because Jason Todd came in towards the end. That kind of saved it for me. Um, but again, another great, another uh great robin thing another great uh demonstration of some of these characters moments another great uh, uh and we had amazing fight scenes this episode um the choreography was on point this episode i will tell you that the whole fight um with the weird family in a hotel like that was really really good um and 
Robin towards the end, like just the choreography in this was just beautiful. Like that was some really good fight scenes, man. If there's anything this show really has down pack right now is the choreography for the fight scenes. I can tell that Breds and Thwaites did a lot of those scenes on his own, which is very satisfying to see. Um, so anyways, that's it for my little review section of this episode. Um, I'm looking forward to next week's episode, Jason Todd. And once again, as I said in the beginning of the video, man, thank you guys who still support, who continue to support me, truly support my opinions. And even if you don't agree with me on what I have to say with everything, um, I still do thank you for sticking by me and supporting me. And to the new people, please make sure to subscribe. If you enjoy what I do and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check through some other things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Clockmaster, out.